1986. I was waiting my daughter. I was pregnant uh, the fifth month. And uh, when Chernobyl was happened, I was engineer. I working with uh, uh, non-nuclear part of the uh, electrical station. So and before uh, Chernobyl, I visited some nuclear power station uh, in Ukraine, and I uh, listen talking between women in autobus that a lot of young men, young women, young men was dying in early age on this Ukrainian uh, nuclear power station, and that's I I did not special point on this. I, something happened. But no, nobody know what was happening. When Chernobyl was happened, uh, it all was like uh, op opened the door to the uh, un un unrecognizable space. And even there, it was like event and event. And only after, in 1989, uh, uh, nuclear discussions start in my region about new nuclear power station. And uh, environmental expertise was published in newspaper. And more, when our sanitarian doctor say that uh, radiation don't mean a lot in our life. Even Chernobyl polluted meat and tea was brought in my region and we all eat this. And I was so angry because I eat these polluted products when I was pregnant. And that make me very uh, active socially. And I ran to election. I was elected. I won in the two-star uh, military. So and step by step, when you are in, when you uh, go to power, you received more information, more statistical figures, more um, uh, analysis, more talking with people. So and I discovered that not only Chernobyl, but we have a number accident in my region which was absolutely unknown. And it, right after I was elected in the time, it was a very nice time in Russia, the uh, civil spirit was growing, a lot of people was, uh, was uh, tried to be decision maker. And uh, that's why I was invited being parliamentarian, I was invited to government. I organized first in the, in the Russia committee of radioactive protect of uh, radioactive protection of human population in Chelyabinsk region. So it is unusual because before we do we did it, the all information collected only on federal level. And. Uh, this con conference, what Tatiana mentioned, where she was a translator and very good interpreter, because this is also a uh, uh, question about language, meaning what we are, different culture have sometimes problem with uh, translation. Uh, she uh, did it best. And this was the first time when I met Americans. Uh, and later, when I came to United States, I was so impressed by the human spirit. It was the first my impressions. The number of good people and very educated in nuclear question people. We had no so much educated people. And the thought, the similarity of the problems. What do you have? United States and in Russia. The bad attitude of the power lead to people to use these people like uh, Winnie Pigs uh, to uh, this, uh, to give these people 
small amount of information, they cannot do choice. That's why a lot of our people, like in Chernobyl, stay live on the very contaminated area, and more on and more on and more on. Uh, and uh, we have also ind indigenous people who lived in polluted territory. So indigenous people, uh, this is special culture. This is people very connected with us. These people who, in in uh, in the after war time, I recognized that indigenous people even did not understand very nice Russian because they was Tatarian and Bashkirian. And when, when was this territory was polluted, uh, they take a responsible man as a chairman of the community and say to them, don't use this land, don't use this land, don't, don't use this water. Didn't explain why. Yes, but how it may be, it asked to change a culture of this community. And then, uh, step by step, I recognize that uh, our scientists and our officials try to produce clean agricultural, agricultural product on the polluted land. And my friend from Ministry of Environment uh, uh, say, uh, say explaining me some discussion and somebody from the other side said you must be your country must be very rich to produce clean product on the polluted land so it is so this is my my message to japan you have to know that your life after fukushima will be much uh, costly because if you stay on this polluted land uh, the food production will be several times uh, costly than you have now. Your own protection of your life, water cleaning, health insurance, health support, your social status may be changed because quality of your health because quality of the health of your kids because if you are moving uh, the quality the you need to start from the beginning in the new place so you need to put a lot of uh, your moral and uh, financial uh, resources uh, for starting from the zero your life and I was, when Fukushima happened, the first my question was to Alexei Yablokov. I called him and asked him why they are no say one words about your dying. Why they are did not talking about your dying. They start to talk from cesium. Uh, uh, the second my question was, and he he answered, I don't know, because your dying have to be in, in the air. Uh, the second my question was, where is plutonium? After the third, uh, third unit was exploded, and I, have, I was in negotiations with one of Japanese whistleblowers, and she reported me that it was 25% of MOX fuel in the third unit. And where is plutonium? And today, we know that not only plutonium tes tested in the soil, not only iodine and strontium, but uh, and cesium, but also strontium. What means strontium? This is means that fuel go outside of the buildings. If fuel go outside of the buildings, buildings in Chernobyl, we have um, around 30, 30. 3O, different radionuclides, full bouquet of radionuclides. Uh, so this is special, special, special problem how to find different, different radionuclides on the land because it is, uh, even if we have 65 years of nuclear industry, it is very uh, low uh, level equipment uh, to testify polluted land or polluted water, unfortunately. Uh, so, and we have very old-fashioned institution like uh, International Atomic Agency 
And this institution, the goal and the mission of this institution promote nuclear energy uh, through the um, uh, business. And that's why they did not try to do clear examination about pollution, to do clear examination about information, to do clear examination about level of risk. Uh, our nuclear science, when I came to this field of activity discussion, they said, don't worry, we have one case, this is our model, one case in 10,000 years. And now I know that it was a uh, 400 event, nuclear event for 65 years. They say around five events per year. It is not only explosion. It is also also event with submarines, with plane, with bombs, somebody lost and so on. But it all is n nuclear material. It is fissile material which uh, expose uh, all around themselves and including the body. This is it internationally or just in Russia? International. No, no. This internationally because I am talking about an international uh, agency of uh, yes, atomic energy. So this is like we cannot talk about national because now we live in global world, world and we know that all our nuclear establishment is international establishment. For example, uh, Areva work in the United States, uh, Siemens work in Russia, uh, uranium mining and uranium mm -hmm. business now. It is Russian, Japanese, Kazakhstan, United States. It is. Uh, Corporations, it is international corporations, and we need to understand clear what we're facing with. Yes? Uh, what kind of money involved in this nuclear business? So I hope, I hope that Fukushima will change a lot. I am very afraid that we uh, are losing Japan as a state because I know very well uh, how radiation destroy human health. This is from my experience in my region. All of Japan or just North Japan? I think that all of Japan and some of Korean and some of Russian because what I uh, found uh, from French Mm, government agency, these clouds fell out, which was came to the air with vaporized cooling water. I think that this is one of the greatest mistake to stop to prevent um, nuclear reaction, and this was huge discharging of radioactivity into the air. And if you have radioactivity into the air, it is like uh, maybe worse than we have uh, nuclear weapons testing. You know how tritium, tritium uh, rise in the air, how it was tritium. This is, this is very badly uh, effect to uh, unborn children, to pregnant women. So, and this is not tested by, by International Atomic Agency. It is not tested by TEPCO. Re reason what TEPCO say about plutonium. We are not worried about plutonium because it is enough level to have uh, damage to human health. I listened, when, when Fukushima happened, uh, I day by day by day I listened to uh, NHK Japanese station at uh, Japanese uh, um, TV station, and I screen the information what go from the screen, and this is absolutely the same arguments from World Health Organization. World Health Organization say what we are imagining will not uh, give a harmful effect to your health. My question was, what about what are you not measuring? Are you measuring right now tritium, which is better, better ex ex exposure? This is uh, uh, quite difficult to test immediately. But what about plutonium? Also, impossible to test immediately. So it is need take long time to take samples, to prepare these samples, to make a spectrogram, and so on. So this is quite difficult. 
um, measuring of the uh, quality of uh, environment. So this is like the government did not expect this uh, complex of the causes, uh, what was the TEPCO and the workers was not enough training to operate with nuclear in emergency situation. They operate with nuclear power station as a dairy farm and they discharge uh, radionuclides to the water as a skim milk. So what about fish food? What about fish products? What about food supply for Japanese nation? Uh, what about water? Drinking water? You can see what about financial situation in Japan. The banks crashed, the uh, uh, stock market crashed, the transportation system down, the uh, fuel supply system down, down the water supply system down. So this is, it is not bankruptcy of the state. This is nuclear industry. Nuclear corporations, international nuclear corporations, which bankrupt the state, what we are now witnesses. We need to understand this dangerous. I want to be happy. I want to live in the uh, healthy and friendly environment. I won't shut down nuclear industry because it is worse, it is unhuman, it is unhonest. It is, did not coexist with all our human institutions. That's why I'm here. <laughs> now, you're a sociologist of governance and management. Yes. And this seems like the mother of all governance and management issues. What alternative forms or processes or procedures can you imagine that might help us handle this? Uh, I cannot... Uh, you, your question is very deep and I cannot answer uh, by one sentence or one... Uh, I think the first we need to change culture. Change culture is very long, long term process. So for this time for example, after Fukushima, what we need to do immediately? We need to organize uh, brainstormings, international brainstormings with different level of scientists and public. It have to be managers, our business, maybe bankers, because it is bank system, sociologists, of course, historical scientists, culture, cultural scientists. Uh, Japanese historical scientist uh, wrote sentence that level of secrecy in Japan now uh, the same like in war time. So it means that government decrease information when government decrease information to try to protect their own position or uh, try to it is it is not about panic it is only about uh, own face of the government but people have to have information to make choice how they can save their own life the life of the kids the life of the family so stay or leave what they need to do this is this is right to make choice and this is right for information and it is impossible now to give, to give very very short and simple answer because we have a several uh, nuclear accident with different phase but with the same uh, aftermath with the same uh, long-term effect